Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up and upload the configuration for ProSoft MVI 56E Mnet C module as shown in the picture here. This technique is similar to any other ProSoft module, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to download a tool called ProSoft Configuration Builder. Once you download it, install it, and this is the icon that you will have. And once you have this icon, launch it. Once the tool launches, goes to File, New, and over here you can actually have to select the module or the product line of the ProSoft that you are configuring. I, I'll be configuring the MVI 56E, and after that in Step 1, you select the specific model. Uh, mine is Mnet C, and once that's done, all the uh, different types of clients or configurations will be available here. Let's say, for example, if you choose a GSC, you'll have this. And if you choose the Mnet without the C, you have a lesser client. Okay, so Mnet C has more client. But anyway, I'll have a look at Mnet R as well. So it's got, it's got all this sort of similar kind of thing. But uh, this is the module I'll be using. Modbus TCP Multi-Client Communication Module. So click OK. Once you click OK, the tree on the left hand side of the ProSoft Builder will be built according to uh, what the module is able to uh, handle or design for. And over here, of course, uh, you're going to have to set the Ethernet configuration. So you double click it and enter the IP address, subnet mass, and the gateway, right? So enter all those appropriate details in there. And this is the IP address of the Ethernet port that's located at the front of the Mnet. Uh, or rather MVI 56E Mnet C card. So once you've set this up, click OK. And then, uh, of course, you're going to have to, dis have to uh, go ahead and uh, create the command, right? For example, you click Add Row, double click this guy here. You know, enable is, has to be yes to enable the poll and polling interval, address, and all that. All this, uh, how you set it up, is in a separate uh, tutorial which I have on my YouTube channel here. If you like, I can uh, leave my link below. And yeah, once you set that up, just click OK, right? I'm going to click No, and then click OK here again to uh, save that thing. So once you configure it, you will have those information uh, located here. So I'm not going to do much configuration here. Once this thing is fully configured, what you do is you click on this. We're going to have to download this configuration to the module now. Make sure you click on this, OK? You can't be here or can't be here. No, you can't be here. So you're going to have to click on the module itself before you do the download. Once you do that, you click this button here to download module. To read from the module is this guy here. So since we are writing to the module, download to the module. Once this download file from PC to module appears, make sure you select to Ethernet. That's what we need because this is the Ethernet port on the PLC that we're going to configure. If you're going to configure via the EN2TB card, ENBT card here, select this one here. So let's keep it simple. We're going to have to enter, uh, sorry, uh, set up the configuration through the PLC Ethernet module. And this is going to be, therefore, the PLC uh, IP address on the mo Ethernet module itself. If you're using ENBT card, this is going to be the IP address of the ENBT e card here. So again, this is Ethernet module on the PLC CPU. So this IP address is the IP address of the PLC. So once that's done, click on Browse Devices. You should be able to pick up the... Uh, ProSoft module if it's uh, if it has been mounted or if there's no issue with the module. So select this card here by double clicking it and then hit test connection. Successful connection. Next you're gonna have to do is to click on download. What it's gonna do is that it's gonna download all this configuration to the ProSoft module and power cycle the ProSoft module. Now it's rebooting it. So the IP I've set up is, is in a different subnet altogether compared to the uh, PLC module. That's why they're saying it. So click OK. So now the module is running and the program is uploaded to the PLC. So Sorry, to the ProSoft. Click OK. So that's a quick uh, tutorial on how you can actually upload uh, a brand new configuration to your ProSoft module. If this tutorial is helpful, please like and subscribe. Other than that, have an awesome day. Bye now.